Hello everyone, this is the Phantom Safety Pin, and welcome to Let's Play Lego Batman for the Nintendo DS. Uh, you're probably wondering why I'm starting here. Uh, what happened was, the first run through of this game I had trouble getting the intro video to save. Uh, Camtasia did not save the file, unfortunately. So, here we go into Gotham Streets, level one of the Bowling Dolly Riddle, which is the first chapter of Lego Batman. So let's get the thing set up here. Come on! There we go. So right now she's kind of going through uh, the Riddler's plan as he's talking with the bad guys. Uh, his team consists of Poison Ivy, Mr. Freeze, Clayface, and Two-Face, as you can see. And their plan is to steal gold from the Gotham Federal Bullion Reserve. And so what they're going to do is they're going to use this big elaborate plan, which you're about to see here. And so this is what Riddler is doing. Every villain in Lego Batman, there's three villains in Lego Batman, three main ones, and every villain has something special and unique. Riddler steals gold, Penguin wants to control Gotham with remote control penguins, and Joker wants to kill everyone in the city with, go with, uh, with Joker toxin. So, you can see how this plan's gonna work. Freeze is gonna freeze a nice little bridge across to get across the bank, and they're gonna cross it. Ivy's gonna throw down some plant pods so they can climb up the vines and they can get up the bank. Uh, they're gonna steal a big key first. Clayface is gonna make that key and use that to open the bank. And Two-Face is just gonna be kind of there as support. And so eventually they'll have gold. And yes, for anyone wondering, yes, Two-Face and Riddler working together is a nod to Batman uh, Forever. So here you can see them robbing the bank now, and this is where our story begins. So here our heroes bring into action. Here we go. Let's play Lego Batman. Bad guys cannot hide from me. So here we go, we're gonna start, collect a couple studs. And really, these things I'm collecting, the studs, they're like Lego money. Up ahead, we're going to show you some combat. Lego Batman's combat is very, very, very simple. It's really just mash buttons. Uh, you see me get hit there a couple times, unfortunately. And if you get hit four times, your character will break apart and you have to, you lose money. Uh, here, I can't, old habits die hard. I'm showing off uh, Batsy's special move. He can ground pound. Any character with double jump can use that move, by the way. Robin can't do that. He can't double jump, but he can use shoots, as you're about to see in a second. Lego Batman's gameplay really consists of puzzle-like gameplay, uh, building things to get to new areas. Like you see me here building, this is a grapple pad. Uh, any character that has grapple can use these. And Batman and Robin have certain special pads they can use called suit swapper pads to get abilities of other villains and stuff, other characters. Um, and here's a little cutscene showing the ladder. Uh, so, because sometimes the AI can be stupid, you have to jump down and build things for the AI. The AI can't build it for themselves. But AI will follow you if you are moving somewhere else, and it can get up there. Otherwise, you have to go back and fix it. Here it is explaining the shoots. This level is really the designated tutorial section. You can't skip it, and every time you start the game, you have to start from this level. So, it's a pretty straightforward level. At this point in the game, Batman and Robin are on their way to the bank to try and stop Clayface and Riddler from robbing it. This is a suit swapper pad. What it does, this one in particular, is a gliding pad. Uh, Batman and or Robin steps on it and changes their suit. As you saw there. Now Batman can glide. The only problem with that is Batman cannot double jump now, which is very annoying because you can't use his ground pound move. So, fighting up some more goons. There we go. Goodbye, goons. Now we gotta get Robin across, we gotta build this line here. As you can see, you cannot use the uh, double jump ground pound move anymore, uh, which really gets to be a pain in the butt when you want to use it but can't. You may notice I'm not collecting studs here. 
Uh, that's because I have already collected all the studs for this level. There's a bar that will normally show up in your upper left hand corner of the screen. And that designates how many studs you have left to go before you fulfill the stud collection requirement for that level. This is explaining the demolition ability, which is another suit swapper that Batman can use. And here we go. Up we go. Build the suit swapper, and here's the demolition suit. Now, I don't know why, but why does Batman need a suit for that? He has a utility belt. Shouldn't Batman be, like, carrying bombs in his utility belt? That doesn't make sense to me at all. This is the build-up machine mechanic, and what these are is you pick up three blue bricks, you bring them to the machine, and out pops a little canister with something you need to progress in it to build. And what you'll usually end up doing is uh, breaking things apart to find these bricks. Here I'm showing a special mechanic. Uh, there's something hidden in here, but I believe I've already gotten it. Uh, yes, there are hidden items in this game. There are canisters, which are like you have five villain and five hero canisters, and they build models. You have red bl bricks. I'm sorry, red bricks. <laughs> red bricks, which you can collect, which will unlock special unlockables, and you have Riddler Clues, where if you find three of those Riddler Clues, you have to find them all in the same playthrough of the level, you will get a special unlockable. Um, like, like a, I forget what kind of unlockables it unlocks, but you get unlockables for that. Uh, you have switches, switch panels that can only be unlocked by keys, which hide these things. Uh, and you need the right key to, un to open it, and to get those keys you need to collect red bricks, and it just gets to go on and on and on. There are also Joker cards as collectible, one per level. And those unlock character bios in the Batcave. So, now we're just gonna build this nice tightrope. This is talking about the tightrope mechanic, I don't know why it talks about it here and not earlier when Robin was using the tightrope. Probably because now you're actually using it. If you look really closely, see I've just picked up a Riddler clue. But if you look really closely in that window there, you can see there's a canister that is not built. I did not go in there because, again, I've already collected it. Pull this switch. And now, we can make a nice ladder so we can build it so Robin can get up here and he can go across the way for us. You will always have two characters, at least two, uh, when you're playing Lego Batman. You always have a partner. Batman always has Robin. And each of the villains always has their own partners. The only exception to this is, well, you'll see that in the villain level. I don't know why I was doing that. At this point, I was still kind of getting used to, to uh, the controls still, because I have never emulated this game on a computer, never played it and on anything but the DS, and for a while it got, I got confused onto what keys I was supposed to press. The game also acts... The game also reacts a little bit differently than it does on the DS than it does on a computer emulation scenario. As per usual, it's not quite... The DS is a little bit more sensitive to jumps and stuff. The computer is not, but... Yet another reason to go buy this game and play it on the DS, you greedy bastards. Anyway. We just blow up this canister. Build us some buttons. Buttons? Come here, buttons. Yay, buttons. We should press some buttons. It doesn't really appear close here, but those posters in the movie theater actually are replicas of the posters for the Batman films. They're just very hard to see. Uh, I believe Batman, Batman Forever, and Batman Returns are in there somewhere, if you look closely enough. Blow up this lock. You may have noticed a puddle of green goo in that cloud of green gas there. Those are toxic. Batman and Robin cannot walk through those. Robin will get a special suit later that allows him to do so. <laughs> you can hear me hammering the key. Um, but that will immediately kill you. It's insta-death. Some characters can walk through that, like Joker and Scarecrow can walk through that, but Batman and Robin cannot. This is talking about your range weaponry, the Batarang and the Robin Rang. I call it a Robin Rang. You can see me using it here, and it opens up a nice canister for us to build something that is used for another suit for Robin. 
Magno suit. <laughs> I call it the Magneto suit, even though that's the wrong comic book canon. And as, as you can see, we have, uh, Robin has a magnetic suit now. Now he can walk on metallic surfaces. I once had a glitch while I was playing this game in another level where Robin accidentally attached to the wrong side and my controls were inverted. I swear to god it happened. This game likes to glitch. A lot. Um, but you'll see that later. I think I even have a special glitch video for this. Building a thing. Building another suit pocket pad. Actually, in a previous run-through, I believe Batman and Robin ended up accidentally walking through each other at one point. Uh, well, they were on a ladder. It was pretty funny. Although, it might be this video. Oh, yeah, it is this video. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, now, see, I've never had that happen on the DS, but, uh, emulation. Emulation is different and special. Those guys are Two-Faced goons. As you can see, they are wearing the, uh, traditional Two-Faced garb, like a suit, from Batman the Animated Series. And, actually, Two-Face is also wearing that suit. A lot of the characters have their classic appearance for the Lego Batman figures. Um, the minifigs. It's pretty interesting. And I promise I will try to point out everywhere I see a reference or a nod to a Batman movie or film or comic book. There are a few kind of particularly not so nice ones. Like, there is a nod to the killing joke in this game. Anyway, that's another day. Here, we're gonna fight Clayface. Come at me, bro. Now, really, the basic pattern for this boss is Clayface will come down, you beat him up until three of his hearts go away, his life, then he'll send out waves of goons, and you fight those goons, then he'll come back down, you beat him up another time, and he sends more goons, and then, well, you'll see. I didn't really need that heart, but I grabbed it anyway. Now, what I'm not showing you here is that there are vaults on the sides of this area that contain studs. They also contain bonuses, like, I believe there's a Joker card in there, there's a Riddler clue in there, and I think there's a few other goodies as well. I think there might be a canister or two. So, continue to beat up bad guys. Now, you'll notice something very important. Your partner is useless in fighting bad guys. They do no damage, and you are expected to beat them all up yourself. But they can keep them preoccupied for you. Now... Here's Clayface's final phase. Uh, anybody who knows the Batman canon particularly well knows that Clayface is weak to water, being a ground type after all. So what we need to do is build this button. Always build your buttons, guys. Remember that. We need to build a button so we can turn on the water and then run over and turn on the water so he'll melt into a puddle of mud. Not, not the band. That's yeah, not the band. And there we go. Clayface is done. And see, he's melting! Riddle's like, oh no! I must run now! And of course, Clayface can't do much. Riddle's like, oh no! But before Batman can catch him, he runs away! That sneaky Riddler. Gets in a car. I love that Two-Face's car is two-toned as well. I want a two-toned paint job. You didn't hear this from me, but I knew a guy in high school who had his hair split down the middle, two-toned, like Two-Face's hair except blonde and brown. It was awesome. And of course, we get a clue. Get a clue, Batsy. And level complete. There we go. Now, this will show, show your stud total. It'll show you the many kit scanners you collected. We collected none. And what it's not showing you is that it's saving the game. So, here goes. And that should do it for uh, Gotham Streets, Bullion Dollar Riddle number one. Next time, the Ice Cream Factory.